So Bill Gates has come up with a huge warning for Dogecoin and Elon Musk. And this is exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video, along with many other important updates. So first of all, we are now seeing that following a few-day period of declines and choppy price action, the crypto market finally showed some strength and recovered some of the losses. Bitcoin has been making some significant moves during the last 24 hours, while altcoins are steadily following its lead. So there is currently positive momentum in the overall crypto market. And as I talked about it in the previous video, there was a press release leaked on the U.S. Treasury Department's website, which revealed the information on President Biden's executive order on cryptos. And we know that there are some positives for cryptos in this order, so this has injected some strength into the crypto market. So we are now seeing some investors showing confidence in cryptos, and this is why Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others are rising. Moreover, this enabled the total crypto market cap to add about $130 billion in a short span of time. And now, let's come to the big warning from Bill Gates. So we are now seeing that Bill Gates recently gave an update on his thoughts about crypto and crypto investments. In fact, Gates opened Pandora's box when he said that crypto trading was like a smoke canister fueled by entrepreneurs who are not dependent on their profits. Meanwhile, Bill Gates also talked about Elon Musk and his affinity for crypto investments, particularly Dogecoin. Gates believes that Elon Musk's love affair with cryptos is because of his enormous wealth and almost infinite disposable income that he does not mind losing to these investments. He brands Elon Musk as a compulsive businessman who lacks the knowledge and discipline to manage his wealth. Bill Gates has also advised people with less economic buffer than Musk to be cautious with cryptos. Now we know that Elon Musk has been a big supporter of Dogecoin. He has been tweeting about it time and time again. In fact, he has even accepted it for payments on Tesla's website and he is also going to launch a moon mission funded with Dogecoin. However, it appears that Bill Gates is not only against the whole concept of cryptos, he also doesn't like Elon Musk supporting and promoting cryptos like Dogecoin. This is because he believes that cryptos are not viable investments and Musk is promoting them to lure investors or he is misguiding them. So the thing is that Elon Musk isn't promoting or supporting every other crypto project. He is only supporting Doge. And this is not only because he thinks that Doge is a good investment class, but he thinks that Doge can turn out to be one of the best currencies for making payments. In fact, we have always seen him talking about Dogecoin as a currency for making payments and transactions. So I think what Musk has been doing is not wrong. Everyone has his opinion and supporting Dogecoin is what he believes in. Similarly, Bill Gates has his own opinion so we can do nothing about it. And now, another important thing I want to talk about is that the price of gold has recently soared to new heights as an ounce of precious metal surpassed 2k per ounce during the last 24 hours. We are now seeing that gold is exchanging hands for prices not seen since August 2020, as the Russia-Ukraine war has caused a significant demand for barrels of oil, commodities, energy stocks, and precious metals. And this was one of the main reasons why we were seeing a complete downtrend in the crypto and stocks markets. In fact, it is now expected that oil prices are going to surge more from here along with gold prices. We are now seeing that U.S. President Joe Biden has imposed an immediate ban on Russian oil and other energy imports in retaliation for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So we can see here that the prospect of a ban had already sent oil prices up by 30% last month, with oil prices hovering at about $130 a barrel and energy analysts are now warning that prices could go as high as $160 or even $200 a barrel if buyers continue shunning Russian crude. And this may not be a good thing for cryptos as investors are already showing a lack of confidence in them. However, some analysts and business leaders think that Bitcoin and cryptos are going to grow over the years even if they lack momentum in the short term. We can see here that Piyush Gupta, the CEO at DBS Bank, believes that cryptos like Bitcoin will continue to grow as a meaningful store of value, just like gold. He thinks that cryptos can be a store of value as they can be saved, retrieved, and exchanged at a later time, just like gold. Meanwhile, we can see here that crypto analyst Matthew Hyland has recently shared a comparison price chart of gold and Bitcoin. So this chart is showing the overall price growth of Bitcoin and gold since 2010. And we can see here that Bitcoin has clearly outperformed gold in terms of price.
In fact, it has outperformed precious metal with a massive difference. And although we can see that Bitcoin is more volatile than gold, the important thing is that it has achieved massive growth over the last decade. So seeing this, we can expect that it is going to do the same in the coming years as well. So let's see what happens. And with that being said, let's come to Dogecoin's current price movements. So we can see here that Doge has been able to show a slight recovery during the last 24 hours. After dropping around the 11 cents mark, Doge has managed to go over the support zone at 12 cents. Although its overall price movement is showing that the market is following a bearish movement, there is still some room for bullish potential. So while we know that Doge has been experiencing a solid bearish trend in the last couple of days, it is now showing signs of a reversal as the price has started to move upwards. From a technical perspective, its daily RSI value is at 40, which shows that the value of Doge is stable, falling in the lower neutral region. However, the RSI appears to be moving upwards, which indicates that the cost is increasing and it also shows the dedication of the bulls as they give strong momentum to the buying activity. All in all, it appears that Doge is trying to mark its exit from the bearish domain, where the bulls are hard at increasing the value and taking the bears out of the picture. So we may see the trend probably reversing in a few days, and we may witness the end of bearish dominion. And now, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So we are now seeing that Bitcoin has reclaimed the 42k price region after dropping below the 39k price level in recent days. And we know that Bitcoin is now moving up because the recently leaked information about the executive order has injected some confidence among investors. Besides, traders are also expecting another rise in inflation as the latest CPI data is about to be released. So these are some of the factors pushing Bitcoin to the upside. And seeing the current price movement of Bitcoin, analyst Will Clement is saying that this was a nice squeeze from Bitcoin. But he wants to see Bitcoin reclaim the 46 to 47k range to feel confident that momentum has been regained. Meanwhile, analyst Michael Vandepop is saying that he can't deny that the market is looking a bit better after this move from Bitcoin and others. However, he thinks that it is still very fragile, short time frame, and uncertain. So what we are seeing is that while Bitcoin has managed to make a positive move, analysts are still waiting for a confirmation of massive upside momentum. And now we have this tweet from crypto analyst Plan B, and he is saying that Bitcoin's first dip from 60k to 30k in 2021 was caused by China's mining ban. The second dip of Bitcoin from 60k to 30k in 2021 was caused by inflation combined with possible rate hikes and quantitative easing ending. And seeing the current environment, he is saying that currently, the odds of rate hikes and quantitative easing ending seem low. So what he is saying is that all these factors that contributed to massive price dips for Bitcoin in the past are not there anymore. So this means that Bitcoin is not going to witness another massive dip from here. Meanwhile, the global investment bank, Credit Suisse, believes that the Russia-Ukraine conflict will lead to a new paradigm for money and that it likely helps Bitcoin. Credit Suisse has stated that given Western inflation dynamics and Eastern geopolitical tensions, money will never be the same again by the time the Russian-Ukrainian war ends. It also makes the curious claim that Bitcoin will probably benefit from the chaos if it still exists by that time. Now the thing to note here is that this bullish case is interesting coming from Credit Suisse, which has previously criticized Bitcoin for being anonymous. So they are now realizing the value of Bitcoin and cryptos, so this is pretty good. And now let's come to Ethereum for a minute. So it has started a decent increase above the 2.6k level during the last 24 hours. And seeing the overall market sentiment, it now appears that ETH can extend this momentum in the coming days. And another thing that can help Ethereum is that whales are now accumulating more and more coins. As per data from crypto analytics firm Santiment, the biggest Ethereum whales continue to buy into the leading smart contract platform despite ETH recently dropping nearly 20% in price over the past month. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we have just seen how the overall market environment has been shifting. Besides, it is now expected that the executive order is going to inject more positivity in the market. So we can expect Doge to continue to move to the upside in the coming days or weeks. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Where do you think Doge is heading from here? Let me know in the comment section below.